Not all people in the world have access to safe drinking waters. In fact, many of the people in the world experience water shortage. Even though 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water, most of it is seawater which is undrinkable. But with this salination process, seawaters can be turned into fresh water we can drink. So, get ready to see some of the most cutting-edge desalination plants you can see in this video. Hi everyone, Richard Aguilar here again and welcome back to my channel. So, if you don't want to miss any of our great videos, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon. And for your information, there is a lot of desalination efforts going on right now in the world. This is for the purpose of combating water shortages. Watch. Number 1 is Seawater desalination saves people from water scarcity. During these days, many people on Earth don't have access to safe drinking water. One of the main reasons for this is that 96.5% of that water is found in the vast oceans. It's saturated with salt and undrinkable. Most of the fresh water is locked away in glaciers or deep underground. Less than 1% of it is available to us. So, one way to make seawater drinkable is through desalination. Desalination broadly is the process of removing salts from water. It's been practiced for years. Vast majority of desalination efforts right now are happening in places like North Africa and the Middle East. They are rich with fossil fuels but also experiencing extreme water scarcity. In Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates, they produce one-fourth of the desalination water that is produced currently on this planet so that they can have drinkable water to consume for survival. Number 2 is, desalination could be the future of drought relief in California. San Diego is set to start supplying itself with millions of gallons a day of fresh, drinkable water using salt water from the Pacific Ocean converted by a brand new desalination plant. As California's historic drought continues, the plant will likely intensify the debate over the rule of desalination may play in the state's water supply. Number 3 is South Australia's desalination plant. This is Australia's $1.8 billion desalination plant that was built in response to the drought season. During drought times, South Australia will be paid to produce 
40 gigaliters of desalinated waters for Adelaide's domestic needs. The federal government has offered $100 million to South Australia to ramp up production at its desalination plant to make more water available to grow fodder for livestock. Number 4 is Desalination Plant at Adelaide, Australia The Adelaide Desalination Plant, formerly known as the Port Stanvac Desalination Plant, is a seawater reverse osmosis desalination plant located in Lonsdale, South Australia, which has the capacity to provide the city of Adelaide with up to 50% of its drinking water needs. The state-of-the-art desalination plant will have the capacity to supply up to 100 billion liters of water a year. That's about half of Adelaide's current water needs. Number 5 is Chinese built desalination plant solves water shortage in Pakistan's water. Pakistan's southwest port city Gwadar is facing acute water scarcity and local people are struggling with and suffering from water shortage. China provides 300,000 gallons of drinkable desalinated seawater daily to the latter at a cost price and the government will distribute the water freely through its pipelines to families in Gwadar. Residents in Gwadar, Pakistan finally take a sigh of relief as a Chinese-built desalination plant starts to provide drinking water to the port city via newly constructed pipelines. Number 6 is Korean City Turning Seawater to Drinking Water
Located in the southern port city of Busan, the 175 million US dollar high desalination facility can pump in about 100,000 tons of water per day from the ocean, remove the salt, and turn it into 45,000 tons of fresh water, enough for about 150,000 residents in the city. And that's all there is to it for today's video. So if you found this video wonderful, please give us like, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.